Broadcom is in a very different part of the market than NVIDIA. I understand that they make components for data centers that NVIDIA does not. But I understood from their CEO on their last earnings call that they're designing custom chips for accelerated computing for several hyperscalers and expect to do more. Doesn't that put them in direct competition with NVIDIA? This is a great question. This constant drumbeat of everybody competing with NVIDIA, the media and talking heads and writers like to keep beating on, is an oversimplification of what's actually happening. So the primary purpose of NVIDIA's accelerated computing platform is still, at this point, when a company buys a brand new system, is for cutting edge research or very advanced AI use cases. And then after a year or two of using it for that purpose, like maybe training training a new AI algorithm, that system gets retired to the inference side. And it's, it could oftentimes just be running inference when the AI gets put to work, when it gets put to use, running inference on the model that it trained. By contrast, when a company like Google, which is the big custom chip ASIC customer for Broadcom since 2015, Broadcom's IP has been used to make Google's TPU, or Tensor Processing Unit. So we have a decade of history now of this. When Google puts those TPUs to work, it's usually for a more mature, very large computing workload, like categorizing and recommending search results for Google Search or Google Cloud, like running Gemini queries. So it's ultimately two different cases. Google is not going to tell us exactly what the two use cases are, either broadly speaking or specifically, because that's proprietary information and they don't want competitors to know that. But these very large cloud infrastructure providers, Amazon, AWS, Azure, Meta, they're all wanting to do this now because their workloads are so large and so diverse Some of them are going to just make sense to run on an application-specific integrated circuit. And that's where Broadcom will do very well. And it's a different part of the data center than NVIDIA's cutting-edge GPUs. Broadcom also supplies switches and router chips for companies like Arista Networks. There's two primary networking chips that Broadcom makes that power Ethernet-based networking that companies like Arista Networks uses for their networking routers and switches and servers and whatnot. So that's it's, it's a different part of the data center from NVIDIA. Mostly Broadcom is complementary to NVIDIA. 